Hey douches and douchettes, what's up? Evil Pew here. Now I know, I know what you're thinking. Holy shit balls. The Evil Pew, regular Call of Duty commentary. And I haven't heard this in like five months. You know, it has been five months since I've done my last commentary, but you know, just uh, bear with me here because I've been quieter than Anne Frank during World War II these past five months as far as commentaries. So it's gonna be a big adjustment getting back into the game. You know, I've been doing a bunch of editing stuff and you know, I've been, I've been enjoying that, and I'll get further into that this summer, and there's going to be some really cool shit coming out. But, uh, for now, I'm going to try to get back in commentaries a little bit. Friday guys, there's some interesting points of view, or stupid points of view. Whatever entertains you makes you laugh, I don't really care. But, uh, today, you know, there's a more serious commentary, which I'm going to try to dab into, because, you know, there's only so many cock and sexual jokes you can make before it starts getting stale. I mean, it's kind of like Oreos. They're amazing, but you eat too many of them and your stomach just starts hurting. You now, I hope you guys can understand that analogy, but today I'm going to be talking about uh, religion, which is a hot spot for a lot of heated debates with people that actually care about stuff. But, you know, I'm, I'm going to say right at the start gate, I am an atheist. Now, I know you're going to be like, Oh my God, he doesn't believe in God. Well, one, if you say that and you're a Christian, you just broke the first commandment. So, you're already fucked, you're going to hell, so you might as well hear my argument out. You know, religion is something that I would really love to be able to believe in as far as, you know, you die, you go to heaven, and you're so happy, and blah, 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 blah. But I just can't. I'm a more scientific person myself, and I grasp on things so I understand. And to be honest, faith? I mean... Besides it being the name of a porn star, that just, it's the most bullshit thing ever. Faith, to me, is, you know, the stuff that we can't explain, so we're going to ask you to blindly trust us, you know, basically with your life, for no apparent reason. And we're going to waste an hour of your time every week in church, just so that way we can make some money, man. And that's basically what that is to me. And, you know... It's just, I really, I really do honestly, you know, wish I could believe in religion and, you know, some savior after we die, but it's, it's kind of pointless to me. I mean, there's so many contradictions and I'm going to be attacking Christianity because, you know, my family used to be Catholic and that's what I'm most familiar with, but I'm sure there's, this stuff applies to other religions too. And other religions just have some really open-ended bullshit that doesn't need to be exploited anyways. But... Let's take uh, Christianity, for example. Now, the whole heaven and hell thing, that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard for this reason. They say heaven is a perfect place, right? But what if somebody that you love is an evil, conniving son of a bitch and they end up going to hell? You know, I mean, even if they've raped somebody or, you know, assaulted or, you know, murdered somebody, I mean, if you love a person, you know, you love a person, it's whatever. But if they're not in heaven with you, is heaven truly like the most amazing thing ever? And knowing that they're burning eternally, like how, how the fuck can that be heaven for you knowing that? Unless you really don't give two shits about people. I mean, that's that's a big open-ended thing right there. And there's, there's more than just that. And there's, you know, contradictions in and of itself in the Bible that you can look up because I don't exactly remember it. Because I, I stopped caring about this whole heated debate a while ago, but I've got nothing else to talk about, so that's why I'm talking about it. But, you know, it's just like that to me, and the whole common sense thing. And I guess another reason why I don't believe or am hard to grasp the whole religion thing is, you know, I was abused by my parents as a kid. I mean, well, it's kind of my parents, like my biological dad just fucking ran out, you know, before I could even remember him. You know, I'm in contact with him now, but that was a pretty shitty thing to do. And my mom, you know, my biological mom ended up with this, uh, this bipolar douchebag that, you know, when I was around five, like, the person I'm living with now that adopted me, you know, I lived, you know, from age zero to five. Like, he was my mom's boyfriend, and they were moved in together, and he's a pretty cool dude to live with him now. But, uh, this asshole that she started going out with and moved in had bipolar, and I'm pretty sure he was on drugs, and he manipulated the hell out of my mom, like, I, I gotta give him credit on that, and, and you know how they say, girls, are the magical poontang power that, like, you know, the dude with the bitchy wife, why would he ruin his life, 
Well, it was like the same thing with that, except for my mom, I guess it was like the magical cock juice that she loved, or just to put up with his bullshit. Like, this dude lied about his kids with his ex-wife being alive. Like, he said they died in a car crash from a drunk driver, and they ended up being alive. Like, that's the kind of son of a bitch this guy is. And they always used to bend religion to every single thing I did. Like, <laughs> I got... I got a math problem wrong, I believe, and this is what all started it one day. And, you know, I uh, I said I double-checked my homework or whatever, and I didn't. I mean, fuck, it's third or second grade math. What does it matter? But this led into uh, me supposedly playing games and, you know, lying to God or whatever. And that turned into three years of, you know, pretty, uh, pretty bad abuse. And it turned into a year of me eating nothing but oatmeal at one point, which was, you know, just as terrible as it sounds, probably worse. You have an experience eating oatmeal for a year straight. It wasn't even good oatmeal. It was like bad, watery ugh, oatmeal. But so I survived on that for a year, and it's a feat in and of itself. But um, you know, and it was people seemed to bend religion to suit their needs, like the uh, Westboro Baptist Church. And then they do to you know stand by its morals even. And I'm okay with the whole moral aspect of religion and Christianity and all that, but. People tend to uh, bend it, you know, just to their will, just so they can get away with anything. And it's a pretty sad thing, and, you know, I know a lot of people don't do that, but, like how people started uh, not going to church, and, you know, back in the day, and that's why hell was invented. You know, people got to get their donations and run the church somehow. I mean, I know that seemed like kind of a random thought, but think about it, and you can look up. At a certain point in time, you know, there, there wasn't really a hell. You know, the attendance rates started dropping, and people stopped following, you know, the Ten Commandments. And they're like, oh, well, we should probably invent some penalties for this, right? Like, uh, you know, maybe a, a place where you burn forever, because that's the most creative thing we can come up with. And, uh, yeah, let's go ahead with that. Let's scare the shit out of everybody. And, oh, hey, look, they're starting to show up to our church and give us donations now. <laughs> well, isn't that quite the thing? You know, it's all, pretty much our religion is to me is just needs a way to manipulate people. Like, you don't need religion to have good morals, which is a big standpoint a lot of religious people stand by. And, you know, while we're talking about this, I just want to say, uh, in relation to 2012 and how the Mayans think it was, you know, you know, I think the world is going to end. First of all, they just got lazy. They made a calendar of 3,000 years in the future. They had to write on stone and give them a break. Second of all, these people fucking had, like, sacrifices where they ripped out people's hearts. You're really going to trust them to, you know, <laughs> to tell you when the end of the world is? And, uh, but they did do virgin sacrifices. And my dad told me he, he has a pretty good, uh, or pretty interesting explanation on this. So say you're a priest, right? And there's this really sexy, really sexy hoe that he wants to fuck. But she won't put up. So what do you do? You start virgin sacrifices, man. I mean, you want girls to start giving up. You say they're going to get sacrificed if they don't. What do you think is going to happen? Huh? I think they're going to put a chastity belt on? Probably not. So, I mean, that's that's actually a pretty good theory, conspiracy theory by my dad, which uh, you know, I'll give him full credit for. But I got a good kick out of that. But like I said, religion, which case in point, you know, it's just seems like a big manipulative thing to me. And I have no idea what happens when you die. I think it's more like an unconscious sleep than anything else. And it's almost an eerie and, I don't know, alone thought if you think about it and how small you are on scale to the universe. And, you know, just think about what it was like before, you know, when it was just an atom contained everything. You know, I'll get more into cosmic inferiority into another commentary because it's a pretty tripping thing to talk about. But hopefully you guys enjoy my first commentary back. And I'll get better over the summer, but uh, till then, I'm Neville Pugh, and I'm out. Oh, hey, and one more thing. If you guys liked this video, uh, please leave a like, a comment on, you know, what you thought of it, any constructive criticism, or what you enjoyed about it. And uh, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe if you like this for further exclusive content. But until the next video, once again, it's Neville Pugh, and I'm out.